Fort Irwin is home to the U.S. Army's National Training Center in California, where more than 50,000 troops train every year. The training area encompasses 1,200 square miles in the Mojave Desert. In addition to the units that come and go every 30 days, there are government employees and military families who live and work here on a continuing basis. In this remote and isolated area, you'll find a community of some 20,000 people who are always aware of the environment around them. They share the desert with wildlife and vegetation protected by state and federal laws. The desert requires special attention. The U.S. Army protects and preserves this land in a comprehensive way. First, by educating those who come here to live, work, and train. Biologists conduct hundreds of briefings each year. They teach wildlife awareness to those who reside here with an emphasis on the federally protected desert tortoise, as well as coyotes, burrows, snakes, and birds. All new arrivals to Fort Irwin receive basic environmental awareness briefings and in-depth training is conducted on a routine basis. More than 2,000 coaches receive instruction on wildlife protection, proper spill procedures, and land use restrictions. Each unit that trains at the National Training Center has a team of uniformed personnel assigned to manage and implement all environmental requirements throughout their training cycle. Installation environmental protection specialists biologists and archaeologists are all on call throughout the training cycle to assist soldiers with any environmental issue they encounter. The U.S. Army hosts a number of environmental research projects every year. Because Fort Irwin contains so many different plant and wildlife resources, desert springs, and a diversity of habitats, it attracts top environmental researchers from around the country. From the results of this research, the Army receives valuable information about effective management of the desert ecosystem. Hundreds of acres of land are seeded or replanted with native vegetation every year through the Integrated Training Area Management Program. The program assures that the condition of the training area is monitored and maneuver area damage is repaired. Since 1996, this program has established nearly 200 project sites to sustain the training area for future generations by reducing wind and water erosion. Water is a scarce resource in the desert, and Fort Irwin is doing its part to conserve water in response to drought. Water use on post has dropped considerably from more than 920 million gallons in 2003 to using less than 718 million gallons in 2014. Many grass areas have been replaced with xeriscaping, or they're allowed to go native. Any remaining green spaces are maintained using recycled water from the Fort Irwin Wastewater Treatment Plant. Construction is near completion on a $100 million, 6 million gallon per day water treatment plant known as Irwin Waterworks. What makes this project remarkable is that it will be greater than 99% efficient. For every gallon of water pumped out of the groundwater basin, the installation will get back a gallon to drink. This plant will be one of the most efficient facilities of its kind on the West Coast. Fort Irwin has a recycled water system. Recycled water comes from treating the wastewater to a very high level. This treated water is also used for dust control and construction water. Using recycled water for these purposes instead of fresh water saves Fort Irwin more than 42 million gallons per year. Fort Irwin actively pursues renewable energy sources. One such source is included in the design of a new state-of-the-art hospital which features a photovoltaic array that will generate more than 2 megawatts of power. When completed, the hospital will be a state-of-the-art, leadership in energy and environmental design, platinum facility with a solar hot water thermal system. Greenhouse gas emissions will be reduced by more than 3,000 metric tons, which is equivalent to nearly 9,000 barrels of oil per year. Fort Irwin is also installing a one megawatt concentrated solar array that will provide a combined generation of about 4.5 megawatts of renewable energy, further enhancing the goal of net zero energy. Fort Irwin generates approximately 14,000 tons of solid waste every year. Managing this volume of solid waste is labor-intensive and costly. The collective cost to dispose of one ton of trash is about $300, 
while recycling that same volume of solid waste only costs $78. In addition, money is returned to the installation from the sale of the recyclable commodities. This revenue is deposited into the Qualified Recycling Program, QRP account, which supports many of the morale, welfare, and recreation activities on post. In addition to an active recycling program, a state-of-the-art waste to energy system is close to completion. The system works by thermochemical decomposition of all organic material in the absence of oxygen. The byproducts of this process are ash and heated gases. The heated gases will be channeled to power a steam turbine that generates electricity. The ash can be used to build roads in yet another effort to achieve net zero waste. The reduction of volume in the solid waste entering into the system is over 70%, which saves precious and finite landfill space. Each year, the United States Army joins the nation in celebrating Earth Day, which provides an opportunity to renew its commitment to stewardship of the environment and the lands where soldiers, families, and civilians train, live, and work. As a leader among federal agencies and a major landowner, the Army takes great pride in its commitment to the environment. Fort Irwin continues to harness more energy from alternative sources and improve efficiencies in energy, water, and waste for the benefit of the current and future force. Efforts to reduce, repurpose, recycle, and recover energy in daily operations are all part of protecting and preserving the wildlife and vegetation in the great Mojave Desert that Fort Irwin calls home. The Army continues to look for ways to reduce environmental impacts and at the same time ensure the individual readiness and resiliency of our soldiers. There is no other training facility in the world like NTC. It's essential in preparing the armed forces for global operations in a multitude of complex environments.